Hey Girl Scouts, my name is Ruth Lombick and I'm the STEM Support Manager with the Girl Scouts of Greater Atlanta here in the great state of Georgia. Today we are going to be working on our brownie making games batch. We're going to use our creativity and imagination and we're going to have some fun. Keep in mind that there are five parts to the making games batch. This video is going to walk you through one of them, but you should talk to your troop leader about finishing the other four so that you can earn the whole batch. Step one of this badge is to try a scavenger hunt. We're going to create our own scavenger hunts. You're going to need a pencil and a paper, and this part of the badge is going to take 15 to 30 minutes to complete, depending on how creative or detailed you want to be. You are also going to need a space for your scavenger hunt. This could be a room, a couple rooms, your whole house, or an outdoor area. If you're going outside, make sure your adult knows where you're going, and be safe. Go ahead and pause here to gather your supplies and figure out the space you want to use. Okay, now we're ready to create our own scavenger hunts. Your scavenger hunt can include whatever you would like. Feel free to be super creative. Just be sure to include at least 10 items on it. You can hunt for specific items, give riddles or clues to lead people to the correct item, or focus on colors or senses. For my scavenger hunt, I'm gonna focus on things that we can find with our senses. We're gonna look for things that we can see, feel, and hear. And I'm gonna look around my apartment for them. I want people to look for something green, just like the leaves on this really cool plant. The underside of these leaves is actually purple. Isn't that cool? I want people to feel something fuzzy, and I think my cat would count as something pretty fuzzy. I want people to listen for something rhythmic. I think the rain falling outside my apartment is pretty rhythmic. Don't you? Once you've written your scavenger hunt, give it to somebody else to try to complete. It's always a good idea to think about what you learned, what you liked or didn't like, and what you want to do next. Were they able to find everything you included on your scavenger hunt? Can you change any of your clues to help them out? What did you learn from making the scavenger hunt? You'll find my scavenger hunt at the end of the video. Post a picture of your scavenger hunt and tell us how it went. You can find the rest of the steps to the Brownie Making Games badge in our Girl Scout shop. And if you earn your badge, you can have your parents order the badge for you too. Click the subscribe button and get more fun content from Girl Scouts. And if you like these activities, visit girlscouts.org to sign up. See you next time.